All right, so straight out the gate, you know, I have to take the cornrows out. We're going to be dyeing it black so that it can match the color of the yarn. But, you know, I'm hoping that maybe if this becomes a trend that some black girl <clears throat> out there will take the hint and create matching hair color yarn. All right, so after several dance breaks, you can see that I'm still dyeing my hair. Um, I actually had to dye it twice so that it can be black enough for the braids because the yarn is like super black and not a 1B black. So I did it twice, you know, nothing crazy, semi-permanent. Went ahead, throw the heat cap on, you know, do an extra trash bag on that joint because I got a lot of hair. You know, it's thick, thicker than a snicker. All right, had to make sure the black get drenched up in there, soaked up in there, sop, sop like soup so it could be right. And of course, you know, you want to clean off the face. You know, clumsy my clumsy like me. I got to die on a few places in the bathroom, but it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You clean up afterwards. Another dance break. I can do it with your ass and You can do it with your back into it. I can do it with your ass and it. point you know i'm tired okay uh i had to dye my hair twice like i just told you but i also had to plait it so this is the part where i realized i'm gonna have to dye the second time but i went ahead and just plaited the whole entire thing so that i could dye it over with the plaits already in there and just keep it pushing easy and quick you know so now we have the dyed product the dyed plaits my individual plaits and then here we going in putting the braids over top of my braids. So the way I did it is instead of having loose hair and rubber bands, it wasn't working for me. Having my own hair individually braided made all the difference in the world. So I just grabbed a plait, hooked it on with the yarn, plaited it around, and then when I got past the hair, braided it into three pieces. Day two, the front was already done. That's how I went to bed. They said to do the front first because, woof. The rest comes easier. I oh, don't know. Like, who the fuck told me to do this? Who told me? At least I got the front done. That's what's in this bun. But damn. Who the fuck told me to do this? Vinegar, but whew. I would do it again. Whole time I was like, I'm not doing this shit ever again, but bitch, I would do it again. <laughs> now that I know I can do it, can't tell me nothing. So after a million dance breaks, food breaks, my freaking arm is tired breaks, we finally made it to the steaming portion of this braiding experience and I'm so happy. As you can see, the steam makes it smoother, silkier, more easy to control compared to the dry 
just braided version of the yarn. Um, and, you know, I wasn't really thinking that because this yarn is going to soak up the water. I did my best to wring all the water out of it. Um, but, you know, being yarn, kind of like being a t-shirt or like a blanket or something, the water pretty much stayed in my hair all night. And, um, you know, it felt dry to touch, but you could feel the weight. So here I am just squeezing as hard as I can to get all the water content out. And by the end, that towel was soaked. Look at that steam. Ain't it sexy? Yeah. Smell like fresh laundry up in here. And boom, we done. We done. it being yarn it didn't feel like anything on my head at all it didn't feel like anything it felt so light and um so i guess i can tell there's still water in it but it's yarn so it's like you know the best thing to do would throw my whole head in the fucking dryer but we can't do that <laughs> so i'll let the sun do its thing right I'm going to go to the store and get some beads. I did see a girl on TikTok that did, like, the gold cuffs, whatever, the cuffs, I guess you could call them, like, throughout her braids, and that was so freaking cute. But I had the clear beads in my head for a minute. That was the first initial thought when I was braiding my hair, so I'm going to go with that. Um, you know, trusting my instincts and whatnot. But, you know, I'm just out here drying. And it looks like locks, like crazy enough. Like it looks like braids, but it also looks like locks. <sighs> Ooh, it's warm. Oh my God. This right here, the purple bag, is my favorite movie bag. I the original, okay? Cool Ranch, because. But then you got this? The combination kind of? It's okay. Okay. I don't know. this bag. If I had to do it all over again, I would make sure I measured out the yarn and cut it precisely to what I wanted. But then, you know, stuff happens, straight hairs, whatever. It don't even fucking matter. I don't care. I got it done, okay? This bitch gonna be here for two months. I'll do this shit again in the new year or something, okay? So, it is what it is. It's officially done. I am happy with the product. Um, it's okay. So there we go. Okay, so it was a little heavy. I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know how the girlies do it. Bitch, you better than me, okay? Um, but whatever came off, 
already instantly feels like half the weight and um, a much better, a much better release of tension. Not even tension, but like the heaviness of my head. Cause the hair itself is not heavy, but the beads added onto it, 300 beads. Yes, I over, over indulged, if you must say. So taking some off, a bunch of them fell off anyway yesterday when I was in Goodwill. So it is what it is at this point. I don't care what happens now. No, I can't talk about no, 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 no.